Okay. Got the arm thing. And I, like the other guy did in his video, this is my lab radar. I just wanted to show it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. I'm running a 30 out 6. Seems to be, M1 Grand, seems to be working okay for me. Got an arm here. Series shouldn't have anything in it. It is a pain because you have to constantly keep punching all these buttons to get it to just to do what you want it to do. But I guess that's life. One guy's saying the easiest way to get it from one shot series to the other is just turn the damn thing off and on. And then you come up here because they won't let you push this button otherwise. I'm sure there's a stand on your hand and face east with one leg it'll let you do it but, yeah. that's the first time i've used it so i'm sure i'll start to remember it i'm running it on my usb power pack here they say the batteries don't last that long and i have one i might as well use it right all right here we go Didn't catch it. Why not? It's on blue, it's not on red, that's why. Oh, there you go, orange, there we go. That was a machine, that was me. I, I'm shooting with my, my high-end shooting gloves on. Dollar to dollar store. Because it's cold out here. Not that one, 2809, I like that. Now that's five shots onto the paper. And I used to take the other three down to the other kind of graph, shoot them through it. But now I don't have to, but I don't want to screw up my everything else was five shot group. So I'm just gonna put these last three on steel because like steel is fun. Oh yeah, dead center bull. Octobed 2.0. Pick me up a new one at the gun at the uh, gun show. AR five hundred, he can take it. I like. Yeah, I know. I could have loaded these up ahead of time. I got enough clips. Then I forget which clip is which. The ironic part is I don't have any more of these bullets left. I bought a bunch of boat tail bullets because so I'll have to start up with another load of those. And those I got I think 500 of. So. I don't know. I know I'm supposed to try out some lead. I got lead working good in the grand. I just don't know if I don't want to risk this gun. I, mean, I got some more work I want to do on the stock once it warms up. It's too damn cold to be doing it. I do it in my room. I heat my room with a a ventless propane heater and I just don't feel like I want to be uh, dropping a bunch of flammable fumes in the room. You know? I'm going to have to wait till it warms up so I can do it out here. Okay, here's the second. Actually, it's the fourth group. I did two of them. Oh! The safety on. Almost forgot. So you do this thing. Just get it to the next thing. I just turn it off. It's the easiest way now. Turn it back on comes up it'll let me use these buttons if not it won't let and I can't get the damn thing out of that motor I remember there's a way to do it but I don't know what the hell it is that new shot group now I'm only shooting at 65 yards but I didn't have any problem aiming this thing except I keep moving it when I push the button I might get me a, a little straw they tell you to get Thought about gluing it on top, but I think that would just screw it up or packing it away. So. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if that works. But I like the unit so far. 
Got a little deal on it. I've been wanting one ever since they came out. The next three get to go on steel. Yay! Like steel. I noticed this This is the uh, IMR 4064. And it's uh, dropping the brass a little closer. I like it. I don't need it going balls to the wall. Definitely functions okay. The last one was $27.95. I'll go in the room where it's warm. And I like it's got an RF indicator, so I'm getting half back. The direction said that this might have a trouble with steel. doesn't like shooting steel targets. I'm shooting paper, but Ahmed is just to the left of him and lower, but he's facing down, so anything that hit him will reflect down. So it did, the steel out there has a mess with him. It also said, oh, you don't want to have any obstacles. Well... <laughs> With my gardening thing, I'm going to run my water up overhead. I trenched it last year, but I, then when fall comes, I go, how the hell do I drain this stuff underground? I can't. I go, well, it's cheap enough. I'm just going to run it up overhead next year, and that way it'll be easy to drain. Well, it took one more 4x4. Four four. So when I'm shooting at that paper target seated, I'm shooting between those two 4x4s, four four, which from your angle looks like it's difficult, but it's really not. And it's just a 4x4, four four, so quite frankly, if I hit it, it'll go right through the damn thing. But pick it up and show you what I'm talking about from the shooter's eye. I know, some safety Sally's going to go nuts on me, see? You'd have to be way off target to even be clipping one of those things. So there we are. I like this lab radar. So my first review is I like it. Um, it'll take a little getting used to. I like the plate. I'm glad I bought that plate. I really am. I thought, oh, that's a lot of money, $40 for a plate. But the, the piece on it on the bottom that attaches to it is so adjustable and so nice. It's better than any tripod mount I've ever had. Uh, I guess my only bitch would be I had to steal this cable from something else I own. It's not quite long enough. They should at least gave me a cable for the power thing. But, I mean, if you look long enough, you can bitch about everything, I guess. I did the... Uh, when I where I bought it, they actually had the SD cards for it, and so I bought one. And for five dollars extra, they went ahead and put the the first firmware update on the SD card. So all I had to do was plug it in, and it it did its thing, and then it erased it, and I got the SD card to work for saving the data. So I think it's a good investment. I mean, hopefully it'll last me for a long time. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the other two chronographs I have or not. I got a magneto speed which. That's been a good chronograph for me. It really has. I got no complaints. Other than it's difficult to attach to some. I didn't want to start trying to attach it to the Garand and scratch something up and all that. And uh, the other thing is pistols. I mean, I bet you they'll come up with a way to use it with pistols. And maybe they have and I just don't know about it. But when I seen this lab radar come out, it was a year or so ago. It was really expensive back then. I had to... I, uh, Cause this ain't much more than that magneto I paid. I paid like three fifty for that. But uh, anyways, uh, I thought that's the way to go. That's really nice, um, and it seems to work for me. I haven't used a handgun with it yet. I will. But I set the triggering to level two, and I made sure that my gun barrel was in front of it, so the blast wasn't coming against it. I mean, it's not a long way in front, but can you see what I did? That way the blast, you know, the blast ain't coming back that much. It's going out, right? So, I mean, there's absolutely no marks on the thing. So, I mean, it must have worked what I wanted to. I just didn't want to hurt it. You know, I even bought a bag for it to keep it clean. And that's something I don't understand. My man cave, it's all sealed up, but it's still the dirtiest. I mean, there's dust everything, probably because of whatever I'm doing, but it's dirty in there. My puppy hates me vacuuming the floor, but I keep vacuuming it because I like to walk around in my sock and feet in there. Even in the winter, it's warm in that floor because it's, it's insulated. All right, I'm going to go grab my targets to see how bad I did. I mean, how good I did. Goodbye. I want to show you guys something. This is insane. 
I shoot past the bird feeder. And while I'm shooting, them little buggers are still eating. They don't care about the noise. When somebody says we're destroying nature, tell them, uh, nature doesn't seem to mind. I don't know, maybe I should get a bunch of little ears and put on them, you think? I don't know, I tried putting ears on the dog, it didn't work very well. See how close I'm getting? They're used to me, it doesn't bother them. Oh, I, I'm walking you out here because I want to show you something. And the groups don't look great, they're no half inch group or inch group. They're better, I tell you, since I, and I like this powder th better than 40, 48, whatever the hell the other one was. Um, anyways, the ones I put on steel just because I had to get rid of them, had to get rid of them. <laughs> what a burden, right? They ain't bad, you know, and I didn't even aim real quick. I just pop, pop, popped them off, see, and then, yeah, I shot the hostage. I can see him better, but right there. I'm going to rebuild old Ahmed. I'm going to take him over and see if a guy, I don't know if he can weld it or not. But I'm going to see if I can weld it. If not, I've got a new post. I had to, this took a different mount. A much heavier mount. It's on an angle I like. It puts it down. But 100 bucks for that thing and that mount together. I think it was not a bad price. It doesn't make as much noise as the other one because the other one held hung with a bolt. But it'll take a lot more hits. I'm going to take Ahmed and give him to my son. I'm going to redo him, get him all painted pretty, make a new pole for him. Which I bought another. Uh, I bought a new base to put him on, but that base is that some of the dirt's come down and stuff. It's it's there. It's fine. It's screwed to the wood. It's not going anywhere. So I'll give my son the new base and I'll keep the old. I'll make him a wood pole. He ain't going to have that steel plate from the tube before, but if he shoots the hell out of the tube before, he can replace it, right? Maybe they'll tell him not to shoot the two before. But uh, anyways, that's, so Ahmed will not be just thrown to the side. He's going to get all repaired and back in his glory. And my son shoots mostly 45 ACP out of that Tommy gun I gave him. He's got a 357, but pistol, but that'll. And he, yeah, he's got a Glock 42. But that'll Ahmed will take all those pistol calibers. 223 was the first holes I got him. And I got this guy. This is that round one. They're made by the same people. I thought the springs were broke. It's not. It's a well that's let go right there. So I'm going to take him apart, put him in the vise, see if I can bend him back down, take him over to my local welder guy, and there's Ahmed, and get him uh, fixed up. So he doesn't get the... He's not retired. He gets to still have his, you know, get shot at. Probably won't be as much out there, but... I don't know. I do load a lot of ammo for my son. Here's my groups. I got. It was four loads I had. There's what we did. All right. And there's what I got. I haven't measured or nothing, but one wasn't bad for me. I mean, I'm not the best shot, particularly with iron sights. But I'm getting better on the iron. Uh, four was nice until I got one over there. That probably was me. I like, I'm liking one. And it's a lower charge, so it's easier on the gun. Um, I went over to the, where I got my eyes, uh, glasses and stuff, over to uh, Sam's. And I don't own any stock in Sam's or nothing, so I'm not trying to talk anybody into anything. My son worked there when he was in college many, 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 many years ago. That's about it. But anyway, uh, they, uh, I went and talked to the lady, told her I was having trouble seeing sometimes, and, you know, and told her that my diabetes is supposedly gone and maybe I need to get my eyes looked at. And she, she wanted to look at my glasses, so I handed them to her. And she's seen a reflection in my glasses. I have my glasses got the coating to go dark when it's like, wait, I don't know, can you see it? Are my glasses dark? And I can't even tell. Or, I, know, I can't see the display, so you'll tell me. But, um, like, Anyways, I, I uh, the lady looked at the, they, they had some problem with the coating. And she offered to replace my lenses for free. So I said, well, gee, thank you very much. And I took her up on it. And uh, so they ordered my new lenses. They have their own place now making the lenses instead of having it go out and uh 
plushies. So I got them, I went and picked them up. It was like somebody took something off my eyes. I can see better now, a lot better. And some of it's got to do with that coating. I mean, I mean some of it might be, have to do with my, the lack of diabetes. But that coating, I didn't realize it because I never do anything without my glasses on. That I get headaches without them. So, anyways, if anybody's looking to get glasses, it's not a bad place to go. We went to Walmart, and I was underwhelmed. Sam's, they do a lot better job. And the same people have been there for three or four years at least. And when my wife and I used to get our glasses, uh, I forget what some place, some fancy place, you go in, and basically there was a bunch of women that worked there that were hot, you know, just oh, well, totally good looking and all that. But they didn't know what they were doing. Now there was one older lady there, but you'd, you'd get lucky if you could get her. She was, and so these young ladies would, you know, so, you know, fit your frames on your eye. My nose had been broken when I was a kid. It's part of my hypoglycemia, I passed out and broke my nose, and just so I couldn't get my pilot's license because I just randomly check out. Like, time for an unscheduled nap. And, uh, anyways, I'd end up with holes in my nose where it wore, you know, because I couldn't get time off work at time to go back in and get them readjusted, so I ended up having to adjust them myself. And it'd take me a few whacks to get it right. And so what would happen is, uh, oh, i got to read the directions. Probably ought to, hadn't I? Yes, I went and used it without reading the directions. Because I'm just that kind of crazy guy. And uh, anyways, when we went to Sam's and tried them out, they wouldn't, at the time, they wouldn't take our health insurance. They, they do now, I guess. But we found out that we saved over 100 bucks by not going through the health insurance because Sam's was so much cheaper. It was cheaper. We were still paying more with the health insurance than we were going somewhere else. So I really like Sam's and they're taking good care of me. And if I go into my, my, okay, let's say I drop something on my head, which happened, particularly I used to work all the time, working in a warehouse, something come down three pallets high, hit you in the face. Well, you thank God the glasses are there. They might have saved your eye, but they do get bent up a little and they'd always put them back in. You know, back in good shape for me. Didn't cut charge us nothing. They just, you know, didn't give us any half. They replaced my granddaughters a few times because of problems. Not that they caused, because of what a granddaughter causes. So, anyway, if you're looking for glasses, Sam's is a nice place, I think, in my humble opinion. All right. Goodbye.